Hey everybody, welcome back to another Liquid Chrome Nails video. So today I'm doing a fill on myself. I'm doing it with my good hand, I suppose you could say. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove my light elegance. Um, what I'm wearing is the buttercream, the light elegance buttercream black tie. And over that is a coat or perhaps two of the black magic that they re-released. I do have a video swatching these colors, so I will link that up above. I'm not shortening these any. I tend to keep one hand longer than the other. You can probably tell that my right hand is a little shorter than my left. Actually, it's quite a bit shorter. Um, I do this kind of out of necessity and kind of because I never get to do my own nails and nobody really ever wants to do their opposite hand. So when I do my opposite hand, I keep it short. That allows it a little extra growth. I do need to also explain that what I'm filing down to here obviously isn't your regular clear or pink or cover pink acrylic. This is the Glam and Glitz Afterglow. It's their glow in the dark. Um, I first seen it on uh, another YouTuber's video that I watch, Sarah from Sarah's Nail Secrets. Um, I'll link her in the description box. She has a really great channel. But I first discovered this on her channel, ordered it, and I've gone through like probably three containers of it since. I really like how it goes on. I really like how it ombres. Um, I like everything about it. If you see me in any of my videos using a white powder, it is almost always the Glam and Glitz Afterglow. Um, I do want to tell you too, I'm using a Light Elegance Bit. I uh, really love these. I just recently ordered a different bit that's not from Light Elegance, so we'll see how that goes. It's not that I don't like the Light Elegance ones, I just wanted to give something else a try, just to give you my review on it. Um, it should be coming along shortly, so I will let you know when I get it, what I think of it, and where I purchased it. So you can tell that my middle finger here was a bit of a different shape um, to start with. That is because even though I wear gloves when I'm filing, I tend to hit that one. I always hit that one. And it goes off to the right a little bit um, by the time a week's worth of filing. Generally, I will actually make that nail a little bit longer. And the point of it is so that I can reshape it three or four times before it actually ends up shorter than all the rest. It's kind of a method to my madness. It's, you know, Nail Tech Problems 101. Um, I'm also removing my pointer finger. It has a really ridiculous curve on it once it's grown. Um, you can see the curve on my thumbnail too. That is actually a corrected curve. I have a crazy curve on my nails. Um, so I don't correct this one this time. I've left it. Um, you can see a little bit of gold underneath my ring finger right there. Um, I will link up in the corner the video for doing those nails. What I had done was when I sculpted these nails originally, I had put a gold glitter underneath, kind of a like a Louboutin kind of layering, um, and I had done that with gold and with the white over top. So I can, that's been a while ago, you can see the growth on it. Um, I'm not removing it today, I haven't got time for that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly fill these and build the two new ones that I need to, and then I will be on my way. So I'd like to know if you guys have any questions about the fill process, about what I'm doing here, um, about things that you've seen me do or what I'm using. Go ahead and pop those down in the comments. I'm, I'm totally cool with answering any questions that you have. I'm using this little ceramic cuticle bit. Um, to be totally honest with you, I have a light elegance um, cuticle bit as well. I find it a little harsh. Um, I've yet to use it a whole lot. I've kept it in my collection and I'm sure I will someday use it and it'll be lovely and I'll think it's great. For right now, I'm really, really loving this ceramic one. I can soak it in my bit cleaner that I get from Kim West. Um, it doesn't seem to dull it down any. It's just really nice, easy to clean, easy to use. Um, again, the video is sped up, so you're watching this sped up. Although I really am quite hard on myself more so than my clients, but I am using this at quite a slow speed. And there's my dog. Sorry about that, guys. So 
I'm coming in with my hand file. This is your typical 100, 180 grit. Um, I get these from Jenica Branscom. I will leave her information in the description box. I order them um, as a quantity from her. I get quite a few. Um, I believe she is still giving a discount if you order a quantity. So if you order more than four packs of 50, she'll give you a percentage off. But I'm gonna leave her email down below. Um, she is going to be having a website for sales. It's not quite up just yet, but I'm sure it will be soon and I will leave that information when available. So again, really quick fill here. Like I'm just kinda scratching at the surface and gonna build myself a couple of nails. And if this looks really awkward, you know what, it's because it is. Really, it would be ultimate if I had a nail tech that I could go to, you know, every three weeks or what have you, and get my nails filled, but uh, that is just not how the cookie crumbles. So, doing my own it is. So let me know in the comments box what you guys would like to see for videos. Like, what do, what would you like to see? Would you like to see form placement? Um, would you like to see more marketing videos? I did a marketing video and a, you know, uh, things every nail tech should have kind of video. Those got a lot of really good reviews. So I'm wondering what you'd like to know. Do you want to have more like that more kind of talking vlog videos would you like to see more tutorial videos tell me tell me what that so I'm using this I generally use C&D retention monomer I've recently been using some young nails and I was using it with their speed clear I just got one powder so I got the speed clear um, so I decided today to use the Glam and Glitz with the Young Nails Monomer. And I found that I used it really wet. You can tell here I'm really trying to get this into place and keep it in place um, and get it dried up so it'll start setting. I, I struggled with this mixture. I didn't realize it was going to go on quite so wet. And I know that you're not supposed to mix brands. Um, very avid Doug Shoon reader, I understand that you uh, probably shouldn't mix brands like this. And you know what, this is, this is a clear reason why. Uh, certain monomers go really well with certain polymers and that is just how it is. But I do figure it out after a while and I get rocking with this. And I've done these two first simply so that they'll be dry by the time I get back around because I am simply backfilling the other nails. So I know it's not gonna take me long. The brush I'm using <clears throat> is the Light Elegance Number 10. I really love this brush. I've gone through a few of them now. Getting a little out of focus here, but it's, uh, I found it was really hard to do my own and stay within the camera lens. So if you caught that just a second ago, when I picked up the bead, when I picked up the pearl of acrylic, I actually dried it out a little bit on the towel before I came to the nail, and that was a lesson I learned with the last nail was that it doesn't run really wet. And as you can tell here, it's still it's still pretty damp. I could have dried it out a little bit more, and I'm really not using a lot of uh, liquid on my brush, so. I think at about this point I was questioning why I was picking today to redo my fill. It's usually what happens about halfway through. I think, oh gosh, why did I decide to do this today? Do any of you really enjoy doing your own fill? I'd like to know. Do any of you like look forward to it? 
maybe maybe do you do it once every couple of weeks or sometimes once a week if you have time like how, how do you make that happen I would really like to know So I'm just kind of getting this product done here. I am not going to show you the process of finished filing and it's basically because I kind of didn't. Um, where this is the color, the acrylic that I'm going to wear, I'm going to leave these white um, in hopes to be doing nail art on them in a week or so. But for the time being, I am going to leave them white. So I am going to come ahead with a uh, buffer block, just a white buffer block, regular white buffer block. Um, that I've gotten from, I believe, either Maritime Beauty or Cam West, and I'm gonna smooth them down just enough to be able to top coat them with the Super Shiny, uh, the Light Elegant Super Shiny, and then I will be on my way with these. These butterfly forms are also from Cam West. Um, I've been getting a lot of my stuff from Cam West lately, and I know I've seen some comments here and there about people getting really frustrated because of back orders. I do understand the frustration. I have back orders myself right now, um, but I just, their customer service, when I contact them, they're just so great. Um, they're so easy to talk to. I was actually just talking to them this morning about my back order, and they, they really are sweet people. Um, so I will continue to order from them regardless of back order situation. I find for me personally um, Dealing with other companies that back orders for us for nail techs are just kind of Seem to be the way of life um, It doesn't seem to happen quite so much. I, I don't think with the hair girls uh, I seem to almost never hear the hair girls complaining about back orders, but it really does seem to happen a lot for us and um, It's unfortunate but it does seem to be the way it is. I'm generally pretty patient about that sort of thing, but again, like I said, the staff at Can West, every time I call, I have never been disappointed. Um, you know, perhaps the, the product is still backordered and, and there's nothing they can do about that, but they've always been so super friendly and helpful, and I do really, really appreciate that. So I'd like to know in the comments box what your go-to color is on yourself. Is it white? Is it like a nude, neutral? Um, I'd, I'd like to know what it is that you like to wear. Do you do art on yourself? So like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to share the video. Um, every thumbs up that you give me means a great deal to me and I appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Have a great day. We'll